What up, peeps and peepettes? Morbtron back today with more Destiny 2, and today is Tuesday, May 29th, which means that it is a reset day, and I'm here in the tower to show you what the new stuff is this week. The Flashpoint this week is on Titan, so do not forget to pick up your Cade 6 treasure maps. If you're looking for my Cade 6 treasure map video, it will be posted before this video goes live, and I'll have a link down in the description for that video if you want to know exactly where those are. Uh, the Nightfall this week is the Tree of Probabilities, which means it is the second time we are able to get our hands on the Hand Cannon DFA. If you were not present, or not able, or not lucky enough to get a DFA, basically this is what it is. It's a great Hand Cannon. It's a Kinetic Hand Cannon. It's a 140, so the same archetype as the Better Devils. Uh, it has Adaptive Frame. You can choose between different barrels on it. It has the same sights. You cannot change the sight, but the barrel options are quite good. I personally use extended barrel for that range. Um, and then it has accurized rounds or drop mag, depending on what you want. Again, I went for range. And then it has rampage or opening shot, but rampage. So very, very good hand cannon. Um, I've gotten quite a few kills with it, but... Of course, there's a lot of very, very good hand cannons out there. So, if you want to farm up some Tree of Probabilities to try to get this hand cannon, this would be the week to do it. Anyway, moving on. This week, let's see what Eververse has for us. Always good to see you, Guardian. We have the air quotes, I'm not being sarcastic emote. The Otter Dance, one of my all-time favorites, because it's ridiculous. We have this sort of sparrow, if you like that sort of thing. We have this sort of ship, if you like that sort of thing. We have the Shadow Trespass, the exotic ship. That's all brokenified. The Aeon Trespass was a ship in Destiny 1 that was a legendary. And this is just a broken version of that. Um, also, Elsie Bray designed this ship. Says it in the flavor text of the D1 ship. We have this ghost, if you want a ghost that looks like this with a random roll. We have the gauntlets for the new Eververse set, if you are trying to build that. And we have the positive infinity for World Line Zero. I, happened, I was lucky enough to get that last week. And we have Black Plague for the Rat King. And the Transmet effects this week. We have Crucible Blue, which I'd love to show you, but I can't, because why would I be able to do that? Taken Arrival, so if you want to look like you are taken, Liam Neeson might come after you. And then the four shaders we have this week. We have Amalon Meteor Gloss. Tarnished Copper. Arctic Pearl. And Cerulean Divide. And then, of course, we have the three tokens that you can buy. Let's see what we have in the Prismatic Matrix this week. I have all but two of them again. And this one I actually want. The Actium War Rig ornament. Or the Titan, anyway. Um, I'm sure it'll be different depending on your class. So, possibly. I don't know how that works. But, Come see me again. let's see that what good old Benedict has for us this week. My quick stopping at Banshee 44 to see if he has any kinetic weapon mods. He does. I have to buy a ton of those because I am out. Uh, also, the Crucible event this week is Rumble. So if you're a fan of getting sweaty in the Crucible and Iron Banner wasn't sweaty enough for you last week, Rumble is here for you this week. I was hoping for Mayhem, personally. I could use for some shenanigans after grinding to rank 30 in Iron Banner last week, but say lovey. All right, Benedict, what do you got for us? We have the new Spire of Stars helmet, the Eater of Worlds gauntlet, Spire of Stars chest piece, Prestige Leviathan booties, Prestige Leviathan class item, and the Mob Justice, if you like 
the mob justice. I, I, I don't. Anywho. Again, if you're looking for the Cade 6 treasure map videos, that will be posted before this video, and there will be a link down in the description to that. These videos don't do nearly as well as my Cade 6 treasure map videos, because apparently I do them pretty well. So thanks for the support. As always, if you like this video, a like is greatly appreciated. If you want to see more of my daily shenanigans, hit that subscribe button. But do not forget to have a good day, everybody. And I will catch you all...